Hey groups, welcome back. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and an awesome Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, I don't know who won the Michigan-Ohio State game, but based on your preferences, go you. All right, so um, whatever's gone on this weekend, I know this. Groups is going to be a great time, chance for you to reconnect and celebrate being together, putting the Word of God at the very center of all we're doing. This week, we're going to dive in, starting first with our kids' questions. Here we go. Kids, do me a favor. First off, go ahead and either you guys read out loud or have somebody read out loud uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 39 to 45. Read it out loud, and then we'll jump in to the next question. Question number one. What did Elizabeth tell Mary right when she arrived, and why do you think that's significant? Question number two, how did Elizabeth respond when she had this unexpected visitor? What was her response like, and what did you like or dislike about her response? Question number three, quite often the biblical... Uh, the lives and the biblical stories are people we should model our life after. Sometimes there's some bad guys in there, but this is one of those great stories um, where we should be looking to maybe how we could model our life like the people in this story. For you, kids, how can you be more like Elizabeth next time a visitor comes into your home? All right, adults, you're up. Here comes question number one. Kind of an interesting question, and I don't want you to just answer it off the cuff. I want you to wrestle with it a little bit. Kind of let it sink into that deeper place and maybe figure out why your answer is what it is. Is it uh, question number one? Do you have any visitors that you are really not looking forward to seeing over the holidays? If you feel comfortable, take a minute and share. Talk about it together, about maybe what concerns you or what causes you to feel anxiety or a sense of dread for them coming over. Number two, what stresses you out most during the Christmas season? And, and why? Why are, why are you feeling that stress? What is the thing that's driving your anxiety, your stress, or whatever it may be? Question number three. How many of you prepare meals or dishes for Christmas? Or you prepare the perfect Christmas photo or a Christmas card to go out to friends and family? Or the perfect uh, cookie tray? Or maybe the perfect gift for the hard to shop for family member? We spend all this time making sure that everything looks perfect, but are we taking time to really prepare our hearts for the role Jesus wants to play in this season? Are we taking time and preparing our hearts for the role Jesus wants to play this season? Are we preparing our hearts like we do everything else to speak into the lives around us? Take a minute and talk together about how you're preparing your heart to speak life into those around you. We know that our friends and family are going to ask us a series of questions, kind of small talky type questions. How have you been? What's new in your life? Um, our typical response is great. I'm busy. Um, you know, same old, same old. Uh, maybe we'll tell them a little bit about something, but we probably won't go in depth. What if, no, how can you be intentional about 
taking the introductory questions and maybe trying to pull the conversation to a depth where um, maybe maybe you're able to talk about things that really matter and do some of the work that Christ would want you to do in and among your family, among the people you love and among the people he loves. Take out a piece of paper real quick and do this for me or your phones, whatever works. And write down how God has been at work in your life over the last months, maybe year. Instead of the typical response, when someone says, hey, how have you been? Take out those notes and be like, you know what? I had thought about that question. This has been what's going on. And, and talk to them and, and ask them, you know, instead of, uh, you know, like, hey, I'm great, how are you? Really give a thoughtful answer and see if you can pull out of them some, some interesting honesty. I would, I would say this, honesty begets honesty. So if you open up with your friends and family, you might find that they're eager to tell their story as well, and you can be Christ to the family around you. Grace and peace as you go ahead and dig in on this, your group's time. I hope your conversations go great. All right, there is a dig deeper section on your um, questions, and that is on the written content. Make use of those. They're awesome. And here's the thing. We recognize some groups fly through the questions, and they need a little more. Some groups really want to dig in and do more. Some groups are happy with the questions provided, and they don't want to dig deeper. Here's my thing. Take no shame if you feel like, oh, we never do the digging deeper. Doesn't mean you're bad. And if you always do it, doesn't mean you're any better. It just means you guys are in different spots. So wherever you're at, if you can do the digging deeper, enjoy. If you can't, hey, no harm, no foul. We're just glad you're in groups, staying in content and growing in relationship with Jesus Christ and one another. Real quick, something on the group vine. Um, I know a lot of you enjoy baking cookies out there. It's that time of year, right? And one of the things we thought of at the foundry is we love to put out fresh baked uh, baked goods in the church. Um, No matter what service, no matter what campus, we love to have fresh baked goods out there. So we're wondering, if you like to make Christmas cookies and things like that, if you wouldn't mind making a double batch this year, email lisa.brinks at foundrychurch.net and let her know, hey, I would love to sign up and bring some holiday cookies or baked goods this year. It would just be an awesome way to spruce up our um, hospitality table throughout the holidays. So if you're somebody who likes to bake in the holidays and have a little bit of fun with that, we would love for you to share that with the church here at the Foundry. So don't be shy. Sign up. Email Lisa Brink. She would love to get back with you and have a pile of homemade holiday cookies and treats to hand out on Sunday services, Saturday services, Monday services. Does that cover it? I think that's about it. Yeah.